as a reminder before we start to clean your brush. You'll take it and you will bounce it up and down on the bottom of your water bowl. You'll wipe it on the side of the bowl. Take a paper towel and blot it. And that will help you keep a clean brush and therefore also clean paints. We will be using magazines as paint palettes today to mix our paint. So to do that, scoop out your paint. Wipe it off onto your magazine just in a little blob. Clean your brush. Go ahead and scoop up your next color that you want to mix. And you're going to mix this paint together in a small circle, kind of keeping it in a little blob about the size of a quarter. And that's going to make sure that your paint stays nice and wet and it doesn't start to soak into the magazine cover. So just keep it in that small little circle. I'm going to add a little bit more really quick, get my color exactly how I want, and just mix around and around. If you make a really big circle like this, you're just going to spread out your paint. It's going to all soak in and you won't be able to paint your square. So keep it in that little blob. You should be just fine. When it's time to clean up, we're just going to rip off our magazine page, fold it up, take it to the trash can, and your magazine will be ready for the next person who needs to use it. Alright, to begin today, we've got a grid that looks like this, and we're going to start with square number one. This is going to be our pure color, so if you're doing 12 reds, 12 purples, 12 blues, Whatever you're deciding to do, you're going to start in that first square with your pure color without changing it at all. So I'm just going to take a little red. I'm going to paint in my first square. Try to stay nice and neat. Try to go right along the edge where your grid lines are. If you get a little over, it's okay. Temper paint's pretty forgiving and you can paint over it once it's dry. But you're going to fill in this first square with your pure color without mixing it, without changing it. And just make sure you get that smoothed out, filled in, nice and neat. Then we're going to move on to the next. We'll start mixing on our magazine. This is where you're going to experiment with tints, shades, changing the intensity, um, you know, adding different colors to your main color, um, mine being red. And you're going to move through this um, and eventually end up having 12 different shades or colors or versions or whatever you want to call it of red. So I'm going to start off um, with changing mine with a little bit of a tint by adding white. And you're going to see I get a lighter red or maybe what you would think of as a pink. Mix that up, keeping my circle nice and small on my magazine so that I have plenty of paint to use. And then I can start to fill this in just like I did my first square. And again, just trying to stay nice and neat, trying to slow down and sneak up on the lines of your grid so you keep this looking like squares and just smooth out your paint so you get really nice coverage you can't see any of the white paper underneath and you get a nice solid color on your paper. From here on out what you're going to do is you're just going to continue to mix. Um, you know try adding different amounts um, of colors you know try adding like let's say you've already mixed a color Maybe try adding a little bit of white to it to see how that changes it. Um, maybe try adding a little black to see how that changes it. Or maybe a little of another color. Um, if you don't like a color that you mixed, you don't have to use it. Just mix up a different color. If you paint your square, it doesn't turn out well. You can always let it dry and you can paint back over it when it's dry. Again, temper paint is pretty forgiving. And we can always cover up mistakes um, and change them into something else once it's dry. But you're just going to keep doing like I'm doing here, mixing up your 12 different colors and painting in all of your squares.